excited. This is my first stop today. I love concept knives. Yeah. Always one of my priorities to come check out and see what you guys are doing. They're really friendly people. I like talking to them. And Joyce and Tracy are awesome people. Yep, yep. So um, I'm from Florida. I'm here helping out Concept Knives. I've done a couple of shows before. Hopefully I'll do more shows in the future. Sweet. But um, I wanted to start up with some knives that people are familiar with and then go into some of the some flashy knives, some prototypes, a little mix in there so that we can uh, have some fun. Sweet. So to start off, we have this Father's Day edition Corvette XL. Love the Corvette. Beautiful knife. It's so fun, dude. It's so huge. There you go. For nice. Father's Day. A little fist bump going on there. I know. <laughs> Father-son fist bump. And then we have... American flag for like, you know, Memorial Day, 4th of July, cut some steaks up, ribs on the grill, really yeah. scare your neighbors. And then Blade HQ had their donut version of the Mini Corvette come out, and they dropped online. I think they sold out in like five minutes. Jeez. So I was telling them they probably needed triple or at least 10 times the amount they gave Blade <laughs> HQ so they can last a little bit online. So I, I will admit to you, I'm a sucker for the donut knives, and I've got like four or five of these mini Corvids in my collection. I think they're just so fun, dude. Oh, so much so fun. So freaking fun. I think next we'll go to the Kratos with this beautiful blue and fat carbon Damascus blade. So this is one that I picked up off of their table over there because I thought it looked so freaking cool. Yeah, they had it before, and this is a, just a newer version of it. Okay. It's kind of fancy, beautiful. I like it. And so here we have the Main Street. People are probably familiar with the Main Street, but this is a little different prototype. It's got the crossbar lock. Love it. it they need some fine tuning a little bit and get there because it's a little bit of a hot spot on the crossbar and it can be a little, a little grindy okay. when you try and, and actuate it. Yeah. But beyond that, it's a great knife. And I love the G10, the red yeah. and black. Oh, it's so beautiful. Love it, man. Now, the next knife, I'm going to try not to butcher it Colobri. Massive monster knife, almost like a pocket sword. <laughs> Beautiful knife. And just so you got the thumb stud, front flipper, and the back flipper. And it works really well. They have the detent on this one perfect. And it's just a prototype, so I'm sure they'll have them come out soon and try not to cut myself. So this guy is the Timascus version of the Fenrir. They do great jobs with the, the Timascus. And I love that this is the liner lock so you have time masks on both sides oh, where they yeah. stopped it where they have a little cut out for the line for like a almost like a crossbar lock but yes yeah. <laughs> a liner lock so it's really cool how they did that very cool is, is that normally a frame lock the frame? Uh, they have frame lock versions but okay. I think they have like the liner lock g10 versions and yeah it's just beautiful I love the printer now the model 6 I think they debuted it last blade show but it's been you know years and this is the time masks version the Model 6 is a, it's a Nick Swan design. There we go. I love, I'm a, I'm a sucker oh, yeah. for finger flicking. That's my favorite type of design. And so here we have some of our prototypes. Well, this, these two are prototypes. Then we have some fancy knives. Now we're going to go on to their, our other prototypes that are newer. Like this is the AGI, Agi. AGI, 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 AGI. But it's, it's a great little front flipper with some blue fat carbon. I really want them to do more flat carbon in the future because it's just a beautiful material. Yeah. It's light, it's flashy, great stuff. I love it. Do you know the name of this particular fat carbon? I think it's about like a blue fat carbon. Okay. I don't know if it's got like a specific name to it. Because there's so many different makers that are making it these days. Yeah. Besides just the, the one guy that made it that's fat carbon. I think even Microtech was trying to come up with their own type of fat carbon. The next blade we have here is the Baku. It's a Greg Schaub design. So we got some copper fat carbon in there. Looks like they have the, the, the hardware for the pocket clip on the inside. So it's a really clean look on that one. Liner lock. I mean, it's a back flipper with a thumb stud. I think with this one, the liner lock is a little hard to get to on this knife. But like I said, it's a prototype. They probably have some uh, final touches before they finish making that one. And then these, these next four, they have different varieties of this next prototype. It's a Ray, R-E-I. And so we have the G10 and different, different milling patterns. And then we have the titanium. 
with a stone wash finish. Beautiful knife. Liner lock, the flipper, and a thumb stud. You can pass that second detail. So here's the flipper, thumb stud. Open beautifully. Nice, dude. Love that pattern on there. I know, the, the frag pattern's great. I was telling them that they need to start doing the frag pattern and maybe like a fat carbon so you can see the layers and the differences in the material. I think it would just pop. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Beautiful stuff. Sweet, man. And that we have so much more on the table, and we have a lot of people coming through. Stop by, say hi. Thanks, Jake, the concept. Thanks, Jake. You're the man. Appreciate you. No problem. Take care.